Hello my precious friends, I really hope that you are doing great. Welcome to our today's class. It's our 10th lesson on vectors, whereby we are looking at our example number 13, uh, which reads that uh, the vector P is given by 6i plus uh, n minus 10j plus 3n minus 5k and its length or the modulus um, or the magnitude is 11. Find two possible values of n. So because I'm given the uh, magnitude, I'm simply going to find the magnitude of this particular vector p, then of course I equate it to 11. So remember, if you are given a vector p, uh, which is given as a 6i, then of course plus n minus uh, 10j, n minus 10j, then uh, we are adding uh, 3n, then of course minus 5k, uh, minus 5 into bracket k. This is the same as saying uh, vector p is equals to uh, that is xi plus uh, yj then plus zk such that uh, if we compare these two vectors directly our value of x of course will be 6 our value of y is going to be uh, negative that is positive um, n minus 10 then our value of z is going to be uh, this particular bracket 3n minus 5 so uh, remember if you want to find the magnitude of p so the magnitude of vector p is always uh, given by uh, the square root of uh, x squared so x squared plus y squared plus z squared so we are told that the length is 11 therefore we are going to have 11 uh, being equal to the square root of uh, the square root of our x squared is 6 so this will be 6 uh, squared plus our y, our y is n minus 10, so n minus 10 uh, squared. Then our z is 3n minus 5, so this is 3n minus 5 uh, squared. Uh, so this one should give us the uh, magnitude, it should give us the magnitude. So uh, the easiest way of working this one out is first of all uh, eliminating the square root simple by squaring both sides. So I'm going to square uh, this side, I also square the other side so that the square root and the square will actually cancel out so that we remain with 11 squared I'm going to get uh, 121 so I'll have 121 uh, being equal to 6 squared will give me 36 then plus if I expand this part I'm going to have n uh, into n minus 10 then of course minus 10 into n minus 10 then if I expand this other part I'm going to have a uh, positive 3n into uh, 3n minus 5 then of course minus 5 into uh, 3n minus 5 so this will give me uh, 121 if I take this one to the other side I'll have 121 minus 36 which is going to give me positive 85 so 85 uh, is equals to so this one is going to give me n squared then n times 10 I'll get negative 10 n this one will also give me negative 10n, then plus negative 10 by negative 10, I'll get positive 100, then plus 3n times 3n, I'll get 9n squared, 3n times negative 5, I'll get negative uh, 15n, uh, negative 5 times 3n, I'll also get negative 15n, then negative 5 by negative 5, I'm going to get positive 25. Then I'm going to add the like terms, so this will be 85 uh, is equals to, uh, so this will be, I'm going to add the like terms, so I want to add n squared and uh, 9n squared, of course I'm going to get uh, 10n squared, so this two will give me 10n uh, squared, then I'll also add negative 10n minus 10n, this one will give me negative 20n, then uh, negative 15, negative 15 will give me negative 30, so if you take negative 30, uh, negative 30 minus negative 20, you are going to get negative uh, 50. So that will give us uh, negative um, 50n. So we are going to have negative 50n. So minus 50n. Uh, then I also need to add, uh, I'm remaining with 100. Then of course we also have uh, 25 here. So we have 25 and 100, which is going to give me positive uh, 125, 125. So if I take 85 to this other side, I'm going to remain with the, the following equation. So I'm having 10n squared. So this is 10n squared 
then minus 50n minus 50n then uh, 125 minus 85 125 minus 85 we are going to get positive 40 so this will be positive 40 of course on the other side we left zero there so actually we are getting what we call a quadratic uh, equation so quadratic equation i can solve it using the um, uh, the possible methods for solving quadratic equations uh, let me work with um, the quadratic formula so for me to achieve that i'm going to write uh, ax squared then plus uh, bx then of course plus c should be able to give me zero so clearly we can see that the value of a will be 10 uh, the value of b uh, will be negative 50 then the value of c will be positive 40 so the quadratic formula dictates that the value of x uh, should give you negative b uh, but of course the value of x in this case is uh, our value of n so it simply means that the formula will be the value of n should give us negative b uh, plus or minus square root of uh, b squared so this is b squared uh, this will give us b squared so this will be b squared uh, b squared minus 4ac then the whole thing divided by 2a so if i substitute i'm going to have negative b so my b is negative 50 so this will be negative negative 50 because it's negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared my b is negative 50 so this will be negative 50 uh, into bracket squared uh, then minus 4 multiplied by the value of a is 10 then the value of c is actually positive 40 then the whole thing should be divided by 2a the value of a is 10 so uh, n will be equal to negative negative 50 i'll get positive 50 then plus or minus let me work out what is in the under the square root sign so negative 50 squared minus 4 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 40 i'm going to get 900 so this will be uh, the root of 900 then divided by uh, 2 times 10 i'm going to get 20 so it means either it means either our value of n will be 50 plus the square root of uh, 900 we are going to get 30 so it will be 50 plus 30 divided by 20 which is going to give us if you take 50 plus 30 you'll get uh, 80 80 divided by 20 uh, you are going to get 4 so this will be uh, 80 uh, divided by 20 which is giving us 4 or the other value of n will be n is equals to 50 uh, minus uh, the square root of 900 which is actually 30 then divided by 20 so this will give us if you take 50 minus 30 you are going to get 20 so this will be 20 uh, over 20 therefore our n the other possible value of n will actually be equal to 1 so therefore the possible the two possible values of n are 1 and positive 4 so in our next class we'll be looking at further examples on vectors thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson i do not take it for granted in case you are new to the channel kindly hit the subscription button and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you'll get notified until next time this is kind tuition academy thank